Welcome back. Well, new in this morning's consumer headlines, interest rates are staying where they are for now. Instagram glitches leading to some lost stories and Dorito Loco Taco lovers, Taco Bell is implementing new tech at one of its drive throughs Well, our digital journalist Ivan Adetta is here with more on those stories. Good morning, Ivan. Good morning, guys. I'm actually really excited about the Taco Bell, but yes, first, yes. let's talk about interest Wait. rates. They are staying put. For now, the U.S. Federal Reserve says that its benchmark interest rates will stay at their current levels. That federal funds rate is currently between 5.25 and 5.5 percent, and it's been a full year since the cost of borrowing reached a 23-year high. A cut would have helped lower borrowing costs on things like mortgages, car loans, and credit cards. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell suggested Wednesday that the Fed may cut rates in September, which is before the holiday season starts. A lot of people applying for credit cards. It's definitely something that we're going to be keeping an eye on as those decisions are being made. And did your archived Instagram stories seem to permanently disappear yesterday? Turns out the glitch affected several users. What's not known is how many since Meta, which owns Instagram, declined to share that information. A Meta spokesperson said the company found and fixed the bug, but were unable to restore some users' story highlights. If your story archives were permanently lost, the company says you should see a notice on your Instagram. Meta says the black screen error message on those lost stories should be gone by next July. And next time you pull into a Taco Bell drive through you may be speaking to an artificial intelligence bot instead of a live person. The chain says it's expanding its use of AI voice technology to hundreds of U.S. locations by the end of the year. Taco Bell already implemented this change across more than 100 locations in 13 states. The parent company, Yum! Brands, wants to use AI voice for all of its chains, including KFC and Pizza Hut. Yum Brand says workers are not expected to be replaced due to the changes, but it will free them up to focus on other tasks like making food. Uh, the company says that employees will still be listening in and can intervene to complete the order if there's an issue. Now, Taco Bell is not the first to try out this technology. McDonald's actually pulled the plug on its AI project after having too many customer complaints about wrong orders. Guys, I don't even know if my Taco Bell back home has that yet, but I, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it did already. It it's really exciting funny. stuff. Remind us where back home is for you. Oh, back home in the valley. The valley. Yes, yes, the yes. Valley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That'll. We'll see. That'll be interesting on like yeah. on how how people order. At least in yeah. Laredo, sometimes mm -hmm. you have to order. Well, you don't have to order in Spanish, but they ask you mm -hmm. what your order is in Spanish. So wow, I'm wondering, okay. I'm wondering how that would be in the Valley, like with, with yeah. AI. And then the one that I have down the street from me here in San Antonio, it's really exciting stuff because I'm always there, so I'm excited. To okay. yeah, <laughs> I just want to know if these AI bots are going to know how much fire sauce I want in my meal. <laughs> I for hope so. I hope yes, so. Yeah. Just for your I'm sake. Like, give me that extra fire sauce. Well, maybe that's yeah. when the employees who are listening will, will ah, jump exactly. in and help us out. Exactly. Right? Yeah. They're going to intervene. Thank y'all. Yeah,